What you should never do before a fight. I'm going to give you a scenario. You're walking through a busy train station. It's packed with commuters. And then you bump into a guy or you trip on his foot. And he gives you that eye. He looks at you and he stares back. And you stare back at him. And then he turns around and he rears up to face you. And he starts screaming and shouting and looking at you. Asking you what you want. Do you want trouble? Getting in your face, screaming and shouting. What do you do? What should you do? I'm going to break this down into two levels. The first one is how you should think, the assumptions that you shouldn't make. And the second half of this video is the practical things that you can do, the things you should do to protect yourself. So keep watching, stick with us to the end. Feel free to leave some comments because I'd like to hear what you think. I'd love to hear your experiences and more importantly, what you think you'd never do before a fight. Never underestimate the bad guy. You don't know who he is. He may have intentions, he may have bad intentions, he may harm or even in the extreme kill you. This is the street, it's not the playground, he's not your friend. He may have a history of violence, he may be mentally ill. There could be many reasons why he's antagonized. So putting aside all the assumptions, all the things that we shouldn't think. Let's get back to this guy in question. He's standing in front of your face. He's screaming, he's shouting, he's having a go. He's in violent mode. He has every intention to do something. What should you do? Well, firstly, he's not engaged in the situation. Don't stand in front of him. That's an obvious. But if you have no choice, perhaps you're backed up into a corner, perhaps there's nowhere to go, then here's some practical things that you can do. If you believe the guy is about to fight you or attack you or escalate the confrontation, then keep your distance, use angles, keep your hands up. That's obvious, many people say that here on YouTube. But here's an addition. Never say or indicate you want to fight. Don't say aggressive things. Don't be aggressive, don't posture aggressively. Make sure you stay calm and in control. We've spoken many times in our videos about positions and placement and posture. Check out those videos for a recap. In some of our videos, we've spoken about posturing off to the side rather than standing directly in front of the person. Angling, keeping your hands up and being in control of the space. The obvious is Keep your chin down. The first port of call, if someone's in your face, is to keep distance, but most importantly, keep your chin down. I need to be quick, dynamic, on the person, keep my head down and my leg forward. If you keep your chin down and tilt your head forward, obviously it protects your throat, it protects your jaw, but most importantly, it streamlines your face. If someone's punching, they're more likely going to catch your forehead. They're gonna damage their hands. So keep your chin down and tilt your head forward. Step back 45, keep your chin down and drive forward and meet the momentum of the strike. Of course, have your hands up. Keep your distance. That's the most obvious thing and anybody on YouTube will tell you to do that. Yes, I keep my hands up and I keep my hands up to protect my space. That's important. But it's a given that you should always, if you possible, try to angle off. Try not to be directly in front of the guy. This is it. I want to be off to the side, okay, and this is really important, so I want good posture, be off to the side, have my hands up. Think about it, he has two arms and two legs. If you can move to one side, you can create an angle. It's the same as blading, but what you're doing is you're further away from both or all of his weapons. I generally don't want to stand neutral, so if you look down, I don't want to be standing with my legs in a neutral position. What I want to do is have a leg forward. One thing I say a lot to my guys, to bend your knees, make sure your legs are loaded. Bend your knees and make sure you're not standing tall or proud. Because when that guy comes at you and he comes in swinging, one of the things that you're going to experience is a lot of physical force. He's going to be pulling you around, he's going to be pushing you, he's going to be throwing punches. It's going to be a medley of mayhem. If you bend your knees, you can brace against that. Your legs are loaded and you can use your legs, and especially if you're small, use your legs to engage your arms. Try to appear calm and confident. I mentioned this earlier. Try not to scream, shout, 
have a good posture, but be calm, be confident. That will put doubt in the bad guy's mind. Don't back away. And this is important. If the guy's screaming and shouting at you, but you're walking backwards and walking away from him, what message are you giving him? What are you doing? You're giving ground, you're retreating backwards. You're saying you're not confident, you can't handle this situation. So even if you doubt yourself, try and hold your ground as much as you can. If you can hold your ground, be calm and be confident and speak in a clear manner, this will portray a different image. It won't be the image of a victim. And lastly, as always, I've said this in many videos, watch the shoulders, scan the shoulders, look for his body posture, watch his hands, look for any erratic movement. Be aware that when he's moving, his hands are also moving. So you have to be aware of his overall dynamics. But key thing, watch his shoulders and watch his gaze. If he's looking around, be careful. Of course, there are many other things that you can do. These are just a few things that spring to mind. But the key standout for me is to keep your chin down, tilt your head and bend your knees, and be prepared for the onslaught. Apart from that, be safe and try to avoid the confrontation as best you can. No fight is worth it, and I'm sure your family would like to see you coming home safe and sound. If you're stuck to the end of this video, thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day all.